It's not like you can pop into the local Sarah Brute. Beards are so hot right now in video games. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt introduced us to hashtag real-time beard growth, and EA just announced that a key new feature of NHL 16 is beards that grow realistically as your team progresses through the playoffs. But there have been some cracking beards in Xbox even before it was cool, so I thought I'd run my fingers through the archives and find the finest facial fuzz on offer. Rockstar's magnum opus introduced multiple playable characters for the first time, each with their own distinct personalities, backgrounds, motivations and abilities. So what was the first thing we all did when we got to the barbershop? Stuck bloody great beards on them all. Franklin looked absolutely amazing with a full shaped number with a baldy up top, and Michael's midlife crisis benefited from a nice stubbly number, but it was Trevor who really made the chin rug his own. His scabby complexion, manic eyes, and wired energy were the perfect partners for a really dirty sweet corn smuggler. Don't ever change, Trevor. Don't ever change. Gears of War 3, in which Dom's beard is so much more than just some hair on a face. Here, the cheek bush is a metaphor for Dom's anguish at losing, finding, and re-losing his wife, a bit careless, his unconquerable grief, and his fading determination to just keep going. When your world's gone to ruin and the locusts have overrun, who has time to shave? And anyway, it's not like you can just pop into the Sarah branch of boots and pick up a few new blades for your Mach 3. Dom's beard isn't just a beard, it is the hairy ending of his hope. John Marston, father, husband, gunslinger, a man's man wearing a man's beard. Marston's cheek tickler is a reflection of the environment he finds himself immersed in, wild, rugged and unpredictable, and totally at odds with the encroaching respectability of the civilised world. Whether he's riding across the wilderness, tracking bears in the snowy mountains, outdrawing bandits, or moseying down the gentrifying high street of Blackwater, Marston's beard is a constant reminder of the Old West and the past he can't leave behind. It's also really cool because he's got some wee bits missing where his scars are, and usually if you have to do that, you have to kind of shave bits out and it can look a bit rubbish. While beards in games are often shorthand for deranged or post-apocalyptic or just plain lazy, Snake's beard is a symbol of his absolute badassery. His face mat is so cool that he doesn't even need to risk blowing his cover behind enemy lines by grooming it. It's just there and it's just perfect. It's the kind of beard that makes an exclamation mark pop up above your head when you see it. All right, so this one is my absolute favorite. Max Payne, haunted by the demons of his past, strung out on booze and painkillers, and dropped into the bright lights and shady underbelly of Rio, does what most men of a certain age do on holiday. He puts on a terrible shirt, he shaves off all his hair, and he grows a fantastically dark and thick mouth mat. It is the classic upside down head, which is a look I can personally get down with, and Max carries it off like a total boss. As a woozy and portly Mr. Payne slow-mo dives and shoots his way through legions of Brazilian bad dudes, his beard says one thing loud and proud. I'm Max Payne, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Now, I actually have absolutely no idea what this is or what's going on here, but there are four blokes on the front cover with absolutely monstrous face rugs, so we thought we'd better mention it. Dwarves and wizards usually rule the roost when it comes to facial fuzz in Tolkien's Middle Earth, but tally on the ranger's beard in Shadow of Mordor can also stake a claim. Understated yet rugged, it perfectly complements the face of a warrior and also does a pretty good job of soaking up all that orc blood spilt on the battlefield. That was certainly not a close shave. For a while, my favourite thing about the latest Call of Duty game was seeing what Captain Price had done to his facial hair. Back in the original Call of Duty in 2003, he started off with a respectable Tash and Sides combo to reflect his genteel British approach to shooting Nazis in the face. By 2005, the sideburns had been shaved off, but the extra power of the Xbox 360 meant that Price's Mauser could be thicker and bushier than ever. Then the three Modern Warfare games brought Price into the present day and tracked Price's growler growth 
into full-on survivalist mode. Talk about going above and beyond the call of duty. Yep. <laughs> Goat simulator. We've really just added this one here so we can make a joke about a goatee. Thanks. So there you go, folks, our picks of the finest lip pricklers ever seen on Xbox. Be a devil and leave us a like on this video. Subscribe to Xbox UK on YouTube if you fancy more stuff like this. And leave us a comment to let us know your favorite Xbox beard or if we've missed out on any buttes. Mustache, see you later.